Hello everybody, I'm Sam from Cheaper.net and today I'm going to show you a brand new method on how to use a Game Guardian, this little app right here, without a root. So this is a new method that has just become available a few days ago and the awesome developers of Game Guardian have informed me that this is now possible. So here's the update video. As always guys, if you want to get Game Guardian, head over to Cheatware.net. Just go to your local Google's Google Cheatware. You will find the site right there. You go to Android or you go to Game Guardian directly. Download it there and get going. Anyway, so uh, first I need to prove to you guys that I don't have a root enabled in my emulator right now. This is Nox emulator. As you can see in my options, the root is disabled. So right now I don't have root access. However, there is a new method, as I've already mentioned, by the Game Guardian team. They are the first ones to actually make a memory editor game hacking tool for Android that doesn't require a root. How do you do it? You need one of these apps: Parallel Space, Two Face, Go Multiple, Multiple Accounts, and other virtual machine apps or virtual environment apps. What these apps do, and I'm using this one, uh, it's Go Multiple. What these apps will do is they will allow you to run apps on your device in a container, so to speak, in a virtual a machine, in a virtual environment. So what that means is you could, for example, play a certain online game like um, Rules of Survival on your phone and at the same time uh, play it in Go Multiple on a different account. So that's kind of what it does. It puts things into their own little container. It allows you to sign into multiple accounts and so on. However, what we're going to use it for using Game Guardian and uh, running Game Guardian without a root is we're going to compi combine basically the game app and Game Guardian into one app, into one container app, which allows Game Guardian to act within that container and access Tiny Miner. Now, as I've already mentioned, this, this will work with a lot of virtual environment apps that do this. So if you know any other app that does it, go for whatever. I went with Go Multiple because, I don't know, it sounded fun, the name. <laughs> Not really any reason. I don't know if the other ones are better or worse or whatever. Uh, how, what I can tell you is that this works. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to... Wanna add both these apps to your virtual environment. So in certain virtual environments, you might have to actually install the APK on the virtual environment app. Uh, with this one, all you do is you add it, okay? I just added the game that I'm trying to hack and a Game Guardian itself. So you go into your virtual environment app, and this is important, uh, you have to activate the apps in this order. First, you go for Game Guardian, so that Game Guardian is already initialized when you're starting the uh, the game app that you're trying to hack and I'm actually okay there we go uh, ignore start all right uh, there's gonna be some some stuff that game garden is like oh we can't run all the functionalities and so on uh, basically game garden is running in limited mode when you're doing this so you won't have access to every function but the most important functions such as scanning for values will still be available all right and now I started the game app in my virtual environment container. A game garden is running in the virtual environment container as well. So what we are now able to do is simply open up Game Guardian and start and uh, connect to Tiny Miner, of course, the game that you're trying to hack. And now, as you can see, uh, when I'm searching for a value, it will actually work. Now, if my previous in my previous videos where I've demonstrated a uh, Game Guardian without a root, it didn't work and it didn't even start the the search all right i'm not going to go through the whole search as you can see it's scanning it's coming up with values you have now uh, some values in your value list so definitely this works absolutely it works now there's obviously other different kinds of hacks that will not work i have not tested every single feature of game guardian without a root but the most important the most basic ones such as uh, scanning for values and changing them should work all right there you go it's changed to 8000 now so that works scanning for values works absolutely now i'm just going to demonstrate to you guys as i've already mentioned i don't have root installed in this uh, so i'm going to demonstrate to you guys what happens if i open game guardian without the, the virtual environment um, start. Actually, this is in the. Oh, no, there we go. Unable to obtain root access for operation of this program, you, but your device must have a root. Okay. So, 
if you want to use Game Guardian outside of the virtual environment, you will still need to be a super user, have admin privileges, have a root, essentially. But within the, the virtual environment and with the apps that you're running in this virtual environment, you don't, all right? So that's a specific, but uh, essentially every device can install a virtual environment like this. I'm just going to show you these again, Pella Space, Two-Face, and so on. Uh, in the description, you will find links to where you can download Game Guardian, a tutorial. Uh, there will also be links to the different apps, um, like these, Two-Face, Go, Multiple, and so on, on the Play Store in the article that is linked down below. All right, guys, so I'm very glad that this happened. This is actually the first game hacking app when it comes to memory editors, at least, that does this. If this doesn't work for some kind of reason for you, what I would recommend is modern APKs, for example, the way you find legitimate modern APKs, not human verification scams and so on. Uh, the way you would do that is you would simply go to your local uh, search engine and you would type in hacker bot. And then you could go to hackerbot.net. Under hackerbot.net, you will find our find cheat section, a search engine that searches legitimate cheating websites for mod attacks for any kind of device, including Android, of course. So if we went for a tiny minor mod APK, we would find uh, money, mods, and so on for this. All you have to do with obviously modded APKs is download it, install it on your device. If it's the right version, it will work. Uh, for online games, for offline games, it really doesn't matter. So it's another very, very awesome method. You will also find uh, links to our, our top uh, game hacking apps on hackerbot.net. You will find a, a lot of stuff, a tutorial on how to hack games. If you don't know how to use Game Guardian and so on, Game Guardian, Cheat Engine, Game Killer, uh, Game Jam, and so on. Uh, head over to HackerBot.net and go to our game hacking tutorial. It's just to learn the very basics of memory editing and how it works. Because it's very important, uh, because there's not always going to be pre-made hacks, trainers, and so on for the game that you're trying to hack. So what you're going to want to go for is for a universal method, universal tools such as Game Guardian, Cheat Engine, iGame Guardian, Game Jam, and so on, that all allow you to scan for values and change them, which allows you to make your own cheats in circumstances where there aren't any cheats to download anywhere. And obviously, if you're trying to download cheats, just go to hackerbot.net to our find cheats section. Anyways, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helps. I'm very glad that the Game Guardian people brought this out. They have proven once again that Game Guardian is the best game cheating app and tool that we have for Android and iOS. And yeah, I hope it continues like that. Thanks guys and I'll see you guys next time.